For the first time, we are hearing from one of the two deans shot inside Denver's East High School in March. A 17 year old student pulled a weapon and then shot and injured Gerald Wayne Mason and Eric Sinclair while that student was being patted down in the front office. Denver 7's Jessica Porter spoke with Mason today. He lays out what he says happened that day. The moment Austin pulled that trigger, I forgave him. The regret that I have right now is that he is not here for me to tell him that. Dean Wayne Mason gave a detailed account of what led up to the shooting at East High School in March. We learned neither he nor Dean Eric Sinclair were ever responsible for Austin Lyle's daily pat downs. He says that morning, Austin asked for the assistant principal. I called the AP on the radio. The AP didn't answer. He says Dean Sinclair took Austin to a room and Sinclair repeatedly called for the AP, then for a safety officer, but there was no response. Finally, he screamed for Wayne's help. Eric and Austin were wrestling. I grabbed Austin and Eric said, gun, gun. Austin fired off some shots, I think two or three shots. And then I grabbed Austin's arm and when I had his arm, and I saw Eric go down. I had his arm. Austin turned his wrist toward me and he fired two shots and he hit me. And Austin broke away from me and he stood there staring at Eric and I, still pointing the gun at us. And then he ran out of the room. Mason says Austin should have been greeted at school by armed security because weeks before the shooting, another student saw Austin in class with a firearm, reported it to staff. They brought Austin down to search him. Austin ran out of the school. That is the biggest red flag there. And then he was allowed back into the school. Mason says the school was so short staffed, the deans were working the front and back door security and says his colleagues were not trained to do pat downs. Some of the pat downs that I have seen at East High School are just casual. Um, and so that's not the proper way to do a pat down. After being shot in the chest, Mason is still recovering. He's out for the rest of the school year and isn't sure if he'll return to East High School. We have to be better. Our administration has to be better. Jessica Porter, Denver 7. And we asked DPS about the report that a student at East High School saw Austin Lyle with a gun on campus weeks before the shooting. Well, a DPS spokesperson told us the district had not heard that information until today and could not confirm if it was true. And Mason spoke today at a safety forum with East High parents. The group East High School Safety Parents Group meets in front of the school each Monday to talk about how to keep students safe in the classroom. And today they created a new list of demands. At a minimum, if DPS decides not to change that, they need to look at the discipline policy and address weapons, drug and alcohol, and student conduct involving violent and aggressive behavior. A PSAG, as the group is called, is also asking DPS to implement mandatory expulsions for students who bring a weapon to campus. Now, Denver Public Schools released its first draft of its school safety plan last week. This 50-page plan gives direction on how to handle school emergencies, how to prevent violence. The district now is still accepting feedback on this first draft through May 21st.